Why hello there YouTubers, don't you just love the randomness of this channel? Well you must do, you keep coming back for more unless you're all bots. I barely ever get any comments, so uh, let me know in the comments if you're not a bot and you're watching this crap. Anyway, here we have a advent laptop I found by the side of the road. And um, if you're like me and were around, had these at school in the mid-2000s, around 2006 to 2007, you know how terrible these things were. They were called an advent laptop, but really an advent calendar would have lasted longer than one of these, seeing as most advent calendars last 24 days, and some of the deluxe ones last 25. Um, yeah, I know. Um, this one is everyone's favourite operating system, Windows Vista. A 1 gigabyte of DDR RAM, yes, DDR, DDR1. We're on DDR4 now, um, with DDR5 just around the corner. And it's got a 32-bit uh, processor, the Intel Centrino chipset, which was okay for its time, around 2004-2005. This thing was sold on the um, 28th of the 1st, 2007, at least according to the motherboard. That I, I have had the back off and had a look inside, just for the hell of it. It has a 100GB SATA hard drive. And let's see what it does when we turn it on. This is actually the first power on test, so UXW build style. Smoke test! Well, it's a bit cheating because the lead was plugged in and turned on, so. Well, it does boot. At least boots to post anyway. I missed it. Oh, we have a poorly line on the screen. I bet if I touch it, it goes away though. See? All fixed, nothing wrong with it. I just gotta hold my finger there. It's not Windows normally yet, might be an idea. Hard drive sounds like a load of ball bearings in a washing machine. That's pretty normal for this age of laptop though. I think it's making a few disconcerting noises actually. This is my finger pressing on that line. You press at the top there and a little chip on film buffer. The buffer chip that connects it to the screen reconnects momentarily. Oh, we've got a password. I don't know. You can't go to safe mode with Windows Vista. If that keyboard even works, that is, it feels very mushy. Aye. Nope, I'll give up. we will have to uh, do something else with it. Don't know what I'm going to do with this machine. I might um, take it apart and use, use the 18650s in the battery if they're any good. Um, I might use a hard drive in something else. Who knows, let me know what I should do with it in the uh, comments description. It'll probably end up getting recycled slash so scrapped anyway, but we'll see. I might put 32-bit windows on it just for the hell of it to see how it works. Put some retro games on it, but the keyboard is totally trashed. And it is an advent. Okay, what have we got here? That's always in advanced. It can't be. No. Info. Intel Celeron RM CPU 440. 1730 MHz, 1 megabyte level 2 cache, and uh, memory dual channel mode, 512 meg on per bank equals 1 gigabyte. Woohoo! I thought it was the full Centrino, it had a sticker on it that said Centrino. Yeah, it's not a hard drive, it's not a hard drive at all. See, it says there. Yeah. 7th of the 1st, 2005, but the date on the motherboard is uh, way off. It's 2007 according to the motherboard. That's strange. Maybe the board was put together in 2005 and not sold or put into an actual chassis till 2007. Strange. That concludes this video on the Fat Advent laptop. What should I do with it? Let me know in the description. Maybe use it as something to buddy hop over on the bicycle. Who knows? That concludes this video. Thank you for watching.